Hey guys, here Nick Lowe, uh, here to do my short game video fix, and I have chosen putting. Uh, so for the first drill, without a training aid, we're going to do the clock drill. It's commonly known as where we take four tees, and we are going to do three foot putts from downhill, uphill, and side hill views. Basically, this is a confidence boosting drill, and I'll give you a great confidence for on the golf course. We'll be playing competitively, we're just playing with some friends. as many in a row as you possibly can. And when you miss one, you have to start over. As you can see, I made three in a row. Could have kept going. But you don't have to do this specifically with three feet. You can increase it to five feet for more of a challenge. Uh, but basically, this is going to build your confidence and it's going to uh, improve your putting stroke as well. So that first drill that we did there was without a learning aid. And basically, what we were going over was confidence with three foot putts. Moving on to this next drill is going to be one with a learning aid, a popular learning aid called the gate drill that is your famous Tiger Woods. Uses. What we're going to do is we're going to put tees down on the ground on the outside of each side of the face give you a good, nice little gate looking way. You're going to put a ball in the center and you're going to hit putts. So. So basically what this drill is going to do is it's going to help you with the face and the path. If when you hit a ball, putter goes and hits the outside tee, it means you're pushing the putts. Vice versa, if you come and you're pulling putts, you're going to hit this left side of the tee. So it gives you a good indication on face and path. So normally what you would want to do is a straight putt. You can do this drill with on a curvature uh, or a breaking putt, but just make sure that you play for the break or else you're never going to make the putt. Now that we've gone over putting drills with the learning aid and without a learning aid, now we're going to incorporate a game into what we've learned. So if the camera can pan around and see that I have four uh, areas set up or the ball and a tee, and basically all we're going to do is it's going to be a very simple game of a par two game. So all you're going to do is you're going to go to each spot and you're just going to putt out like you would on the course. Normally, most putting greens have multiple holes, but in this instance, we have one, so just starting at different points will suffice. So all you're going to do is you're just going to play out the hole normally, and each hole is going to be a par two. So whether you three putt, two putt, one putt, that's not a very good putt, but you'll play nine holes, you'll add up your score, and then that'll be your base score, and then every time that you play, you'll want to go on and try and beat that score every time. i can give you putt another one for you. If you're having putting, or trouble putting the ball lagging wise like I am, another drill you can do is set up 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet, and place either an alignment stick or a golf club three feet past the flag. The goal is to get it obviously in the hole, but you want to roll it no more than three feet by. Obviously, 100% of the putts don't go in if they don't reach the hole. And going three feet by, it's going to come back with a harder putt. So club three feet beyond the hole, you'll get a point if you get it. Within that three feet in the hole, you'll get two points for putting it in the hole, and you get zero if you're outside of it in any way. Thanks.